Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in another video I looked at um, Goodlock from Samsung, which is an app that allows you to customize certain parts of your phone. So stuff like your notification drawer, your quick settings, different colors there, and little things like what shows up in your status bar, that kind of stuff. So recently I've come across another app called Hex Installer. Um, so this is a third party app. It's similar to Substratum, which um, is basically third party themes that you can install on your phone. Uh, but this is specifically for Samsung Galaxy devices running One UI. Um, so a quick look at the app on the Play Store. So you can customize your quick setting icons. They're saying the app has got a similar interface to One UI. Um, you can share any edits you make, which is quite cool. So you can share it with your friends. Um, they're saying less clicks. So it pretty looks like it's a pretty simple app to use. Um, you've got different com color combinations. And then you also got other mods you can apply. So you can hide the dual SIM panel, which is something I've already done from a separate thing. Um, you can change 4G to LTE if you want, that kind of stuff. Um, you can still have night mode, that's fine. Um, and this is this is a key thing that says here, no ADB and no root. So you don't have to modify your device in any way to get it, you just install the app. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of features. This is sort of a breakdown here. All Samsung Pi, so that means it means all Samsung devices running Android Pi. Um, phones only, uh, no root, no ADB, night mode, plenty of fonts, themes, tweaks, third party apps as well, and a hassle free experience. Um, so I'm going to check it out. So it is in development at the moment, so it might not work perfectly, but I'm going to give it a go. So it is £1.59, but that's not bad if it does everything that it says. Okay, so it's installed. So let's open it up. So do you allow Hex to access your photos, media, and files on your device? Does it allow? And you also need to give it permission to install apps. So I'm guessing that's for the theming. So this is the main screen that we're greeted with. We've got welcome, we've got settings, let's have a look at it in there. So you've got language, um, wallpapers, and there's a couple of different plugins as well. Okay, so there are a few steps that you need to follow first. So it says to make sure you're on the default theme and not using any overlays or mods. Um, I am using good luck, but I'm just gonna give it a go anyway, see what happens. I'm going to turn night mode off because that may affect it as well. Um, and then it does also say to download the high contrast theme to sky black from the theme store. So go to galaxy themes, just click download. Let's give it a go. Anyway, so background color, I'm going to leave it as black because I prefer the night mode kind of thing. My primary color, um, I'm gonna go for I'm gonna go for white, kind of like stock Android. Let's click save on that. Um, accent color. Uh, I'm gonna give it white again. So yeah, primary color, accent color. I'm gonna keep both those white just to see how it goes. Uh, quick settings, background color. I'm gonna keep that as black. Icons. I'm gonna go white again. Icon off. We'll keep icon off as grey. That sounds reasonable. Um, the background color for the icons on be white, so you can see it's all white there. So white and gray basically will be the two different ones. Um, notification background color. I'm happy with black, white. Let's see what that does. Okay, so there's plugins as well. So it says here, click here to try the ASOP Q plugin for free. So this plugin will change your icons to sort of stock Google ones and it will change the Wi-Fi indicator, that kind of stuff as well. So yeah, I'm in for, up for that. It's interesting, it says not designed for children. Not sure why that would be. Okay, so let's click Hex plugin again. Okay, so now we've got Hex ASOP. So I'm gonna choose that. Um, it's interesting, so the quick settings they look a bit weird now. Let's see, let's change that. Ah, okay. On the AOSAP quick settings, you get a solid background, so you need it to be a different color. So I'm gonna go for blue, so it looks a bit like stock, and also it's still a bit Samsung-y. Um, let's see, for the off color. Let's go black. Yeah, so that, that looks good. So if so actually what I'll do, I'll change the icon color. I'll keep the icon colors all as white. And then basically if they're on and off, the blue background will come on. 
text color. Keep that as white as well. You see notification background color, keep that as black. Header text color, white, yep, all fine. I've never been a fan of adding a theme to third party apps. Um, I prefer to just theme the system and leave the third party apps as they should be. See custom fonts. Okay, so I'll do that separately. Oh, you can change the height of everything as well. Um, it says enable note UI. Uh, give that a go. Okay, see so that changes the corner radius. So, yeah, I'll give that on. Place 4G with LTE. Why not? Hide multi SIM panel. Yep, definitely want to hide that. Keep the battery icon. Not bothered about the rounded keyboard. Okay, so those are all my settings. Let's give it a go. Build and install. So it says preparing. Okay, so we've got to follow this process through. So it seems to use that high contrast theme as some sort of, uh, I don't know whether there's a bug in it or what, but it sort of replaces the parts of the high contrast theme now with its own hex theme. I think it's in the FAQ, this will happen three times, so it's done one, two already. Let's see if this is the last one. Okay, so now it says apply default and then apply high contrast. So let's say apply default. Uh, I'm just going to check in the FAQ again, actually, because it did say something about restarting the phone. So apply hex theme, then apply default theme again. Okay, so I'm guessing that's hex. So it's applying. Okay, so it has seemed to have worked. So it says success. So it did say to apply the default one and restart. Um, but I guess I don't need to do that because it's everything seems to work fine. Let's just try the settings out. Yep. So the settings look like Android Q. Let's just bring it a bit closer to the camera just to make sure you can see it. Um, I like it. So I've got my sort of Android Q stock settings. Uh, same up here. Um, yeah, that's not bad, and it does seem to work fine with good lock. Nothing is uh, nothing's broken yet that I can see. I've still got the same icons here that I would normally that I had this because I disabled loads of them with good lock. Okay, so I'm going to have a look on the Play Store to see if there's any other themes available. Um, oops. So search for Hexen's order again. Um, so that's the one I installed already, AOSP Q experience. Um, there's a Paragus UI, so have a look at that. So that's a bit different as well. Um, so I can't see any more on the Play Store at the moment, but that's pretty cool that there's already a few. Um, I'll maybe check XDA developers, see if there's anything more on there, and I'll post some links to some cool ones. If you guys see any that you like, let me know in the comments. If you've got any other questions about the app, I'm definitely going to keep running it because I I really like the way it looks. Um, let's see that. It said, did say it changed 4G. Yeah, so you can see now it says LTE rather than 4G. Not a big deal, but I guess, yeah, that's something you can do. Um, but yeah, um, I'll probably play around with it a bit more and um, let you guys know if I find anything more interesting. Um, like I said in the good luck video, I like anything that can give you a bit more customization on your phone. Um, setup for this is pretty simple. Um, it's great that it doesn't require ADB and root. Um, I'm definitely going to keep it on my phone. Um, so if you guys find any themes that you like, let me know in the comments and I'll check them out. And if you've got any questions as well, like I said, I'm going to keep this on my phone. So I will do my best to answer them. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.